What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and today we're going to be talking about fun stock or foon stock, whichever you prefer, basically ticker symbol PHUN. And we have the chart right here, and you can see that something very scary has actually happened today, right? If you look at the minute by minute chart for the day, you can see that we actually broke through a key support level at $4. Now, uh, if you look back in the past, over the past 10 days about, you'll see what happened with this stock, right? It was originally trading around $1 before it spiked up all the way to 24 when it actually got stopped on some halts. And if you've been a viewer of the channel and been watching the live streams that we do every morning at 9, you will know uh, that we watched these halts live and they were brutal and they killed DWAC stock as well as PHUN stock. Now, it's unfortunate, but since then we have actually been downtrending uh, and we were doing that for a while, right? Until we actually... Uh, on this downtrend, moved down to $4 where we found some support right here and ended up bouncing up all the way to highs of 577, right? So $4 was actually a very key level for the stock. However, we eventually continued this downtrend and started moving down and down and down until today in early morning trading, we ended up breaking four, which is very scary, right? A lot of people have been buying in uh, above four. Four, if you actually look, unless you were getting in uh, the very first day that this was pumping, it was not pumping for long. It was only in the after. Uh, the late hours of the trading day, this day that it was pumping and after hours, of course, uh, that we were under $4. But if you look, uh, not many people were able to get in before uh, it was at very elevated prices. And a lot of people are probably down on money under $4. So we really want PHUN to start moving up above four. Now, the good news is that we do have a little bit of support at $3.80, which we actually formed here also, right? It was the actual all-time low. However, $4 was more of a secure support because it's a strong psychological level for a lot of traders. And you can see that today we did play around it for a little bit before we ended up moving through. Uh, but since then, 380 has acted as a bit of a support for us. Hopefully we won't break through that in after hours, but we're going to have to see. Now, for those of you who don't remember what PHUN is all about, the reason that it's pumping, I will uh, bring this up because I have talked about it in other videos, but some people may have missed those. So basically, PHUN is pumping because in the past it has been tried to Trump and Pence, right, during the re-election campaign and it actually spiked up about 2,000% back then in 2019 when it was. And now the reason it's pumping is speculators seem to be, seem to be betting on another partnership potentially with DWAC or Trump Media Corporation. Whenever that goes public, they're expecting that PHUN will be partnering with them as well. So it is a bit less of a secure trade than DWAC is, right? DWAC guaranteed almost to be tied to Trump Media Corporation unless the SEC uh, finds a way to stop it. But uh, as of now, right, it's basically confirmed that DWAC is 100% tied to Trump and PHUN is only a uh, rumor and a speculation at this point. However, it seems like it might be the case, right, because it has been tied to Trump in the past. Now, if you guys are interested, I will really quickly offer you the opportunity to go to any one of my videos, even the description of this video, and get two free stocks valued up to $2,300 when you open an account with Webull. And all you have to do is click the link in the description. And you can get two free stocks. The first one you get when you open your account for free, you don't have to do anything. The second one, you just have to deposit any amount. It could be a buck and you get a second free stock. And uh, those have a combined value of up to $2,300 uh, if you're lucky, right? So that's an opportunity right there if you're interested. But for PHUN, a lot of people have been talking about the potential for a short squeeze. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like that might not be the most relevant thought, right? Because if you look at the short interest, it's only 4.94%. And uh, while it did increase today, right? While well, shorts are coming in hot, shorts are trying to push PHUN down. Uh, obviously, some shorts uh, did end up getting hurt on these initial days of the pump, right? Some shorts thought they were being really smart, probably uh, shorting it at five bucks around here and uh, hoping that it would just move down. And then they got really uh, uh, just a uh, uh, damaged when it was up at 24. So a lot of shorts probably got hurt there and have been wary of shorting it since. However, you can see the short interest is slowly increasing uh, up 5% today, but still we have lower than a 5% short interest as a percentage of the free float. So not all that high when you consider all the uh, shares available, right? If you look, the current short interest is 3.98 million shares. Uh, so if you multiply that by the share price, assuming it's around four bucks, uh, that's about $16 million worth of short positions, so not the greatest. So short squeeze for PHUN stock is not the most likely, in my opinion. However, it is worth noting that it is a very low market cap, right? So we could actually see a big increase in market cap, right? Now we're at $322 million, and uh, DWAC is around two-something, I believe, right? As long as uh, we haven't changed that much since I last looked, but we're around $2 billion for DWAC. So PHUN is still a much smaller company, and it does tend to trade in relation to DWAC, right? It follows DWAC's moves. You can see they're both down about 10% on the day. Uh, and this is actually good for PHUN stock because typically it's down a little bit more than DWAC, but it looks like this $3.80 support level is acting well for us. Uh, however, what's notable about 
their market caps is that since PHUN is a much lower market cap, it's very possible that it has more potential upside, especially if a confirmation is given between uh, PHUN and their ties to Trump Media Corporation, right? If Trump actually comes out and says that they do have a partnership that would be very good for PHUN stock. And you can see that despite uh, PHUN uh, having a slightly lower market cap than DWAC, it still gets a decent amount of search volume, right? The market cap is much, much lower. It's almost a tenth as small as DWAC. However, when you compare the two, uh, if you actually add in DWAC onto this uh, Google Trends data, you can see that it's while it's higher, it's not that much higher, right? It is significantly higher. DWAC is the red line, PHUN is the blue line, and the trend that you can see with both of them is that the search volume for both is decreasing over time, right? Obviously, these stocks were much more popular during the initial days of the pump when everyone was hearing about them for the first time, and it's a very natural thing to see uh, search volume waning for these stocks after they've pumped, after people have initially heard of them. They don't need to Google them every day uh, to hear it, to learn about them again, right? Most people just want to hear about them once, and uh, a lot of people aren't interested in the stocks after that. A lot of people search them for the first time and never need to search them again. So that's why these search volumes have been decreasing, but uh, it is notable that they still remain somewhat significant when compared to other stocks. So that's actually a good thing that they have going for them. The same is not necessarily true for PHUN stock on Reddit and Wall Street Bets. These are the top trending stocks on Reddit in the past 24 hours. And if you scroll down, you actually have to scroll very far to get to PHUN stock. It's all the way at the bottom here. You have to go to the second page and it's at spot number 120. Last I checked, number 119, it moved up a spot. So PHUN only has 10 mentions on Reddit and Wall Street Bets, and that's a real area where it could improve because Reddit and Wall Street Bets during the AMC and GME pumps actually became key places that people go to to invest in stocks and learn about them. So uh, if we could get PHUN ranking slightly higher, that would actually be very good for the stock. And DWAC, I'll show you guys real quick, is actually at spot number 13. Uh, now it's 14. So uh, it's a little bit lower for both of them, right? But still, very high up on the list for DWAC. PHUN needs to do a slightly better job on this list. I think it could get a little bit higher on it. Uh, and it's not even listed on stock to its most active stocks. DWAC is number eight, uh, but PHUN is not even listed here. Unfortunately, it was at one point, uh, but has since fallen out in po of popularity just a bit. And unfortunately, it looks very dangerous for us, the fact that we're breaking down past $4, right? And hopefully, $3.80 will hold us. Uh, but it's not a good sign when you see us breaking through support levels because that does show weakness in the stock. And, uh, you know, stocks like Mark also did the same thing, um, except, you know, yesterday on Friday. Uh, well, not yesterday, but a couple days ago on Friday, they were able to rebound in a big way. So this is actually a possibility that we could be looking at with PHUN stock, right? There's always the chance uh, that maybe tomorrow or sometime in after hours today, we could see a couple of massive green bars bringing us back up above four. But in order for that to happen, we would either need to see some initial momentum in the stock and some people would need to get into it for the first time, particularly some whales, hopefully, right? Some people with a lot of capital to throw at it, or we would need to see some kind of catalyst. Now, I think that the people running PHUN understand this, and that's why a couple of days ago, they ended up uh, putting out a story and releasing some news that they uh, were accepting Bitcoin as payment and hoping to probably get a boost to their stock price because of that. However, it didn't actually help. They uh, continued to move down on Friday despite that news. It only succeeded in pumping them up a little bit on this bar right here. So it ended up not being the best catalyst for them, but it shows that they are trying as a company. So uh, they, they likely have uh, some good intentions for the shareholders or at least have the intention of raising the stock price a little bit more because they have a vested interest in doing that. So uh, that's that's decent news for them, right? That's not bad, uh, but it's not great that their attempt was unsuccessful. So that's mostly what we're looking at with PHUN stock, right? The key thing that happened today was that we fell below $4, and that's not ideal. 380, we're going to have to watch closely and see if that holds us. It's very possible since that was uh, very close to the all-time low that we saw after the big pump, right? 380, it was actually 377 that we got to, I think, but 380 is a stronger psychological level, so that will likely act as our support, uh, though we did get to 377 here as well. So uh, very interesting stuff with PHUN, but hopefully we won't be dumping too much more, but we'll have to see. We'll be doing that, uh, watching in the live streams tomorrow. Uh, so if anyone's interested in joining those, feel free to come every day at nine and, uh, watch the markets with us. We have a great time. We ask questions and, uh, do all kinds of stuff. So, uh, other than that, guys, have a great day. I hope you're having, um, uh, decent luck in the markets and aren't losing too much money on these stocks. Always manage your risk as usual. None of this is financial advice. I'm not trying to advise anyone one way or the other. I'm just giving you guys my opinion. But other than that, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.